Hello, this is Literally Gaming here, and today we are doing a secret slash cool spot in the Dreadnought. I am going to put on my sniper, and then, oh, okay, just let me real quickly put on a special weapons, and then once we do that, we are on to our first spot. What we are here, right off of spawn, right where you spawn, if you just go to the left a bit, or right, then you gotta jump up to where I'm jumping and just follow my steps where I'm going. Just up, 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 and keep on going up. I advise doing this with with like a sniper or a pulse rifle or a scout. It's very good up here. Now what you can see, the high boomer cannot get you. See, they just barely miss. Miss. And then you can just shoot them down. There's also, this is probably one of the better spots for having a sniper, as you can see. Just zoom around, patrol the area like this. It is a very interesting spot, and I am not sure if this is a glitch, a secret, or is, was it meant to be here. I am tempted to find out. But, as you can see, this is my sniping spot on the Dreadnought. And this is the first part of my secret slash cool spots. Okay, so the next part now is when you come right over from the last spot over there what you want to do is come to the cabal ship the back entrance area and then you'll see an engine to its left not its right engine but its left engine what you want to do is jump onto the flaming engine i believe you say it right on here any class will work for this but just follow my steps again and come up here as you can see it is a very 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 good spot for sniping they can't really see you at all Aided by scout or sniper, as you can see, pulse does not do too well. But then also the range drop off is pretty bad. But I mean, hide and seek up here would be amazing. So this has been my second spot. And then for my final spot, what you want to do is come to the back of the cabal ship, or was it the front? I am unsure. But the opposite side of spawn. And once you get to this spot, like you can go through there or my nova bomb hits but what you want to do is walk straight into this cave area and then just come in here what you're going to see is these worms you can destroy them if you want but just come in here and there's a chest up here if you want it and there's usually a chest down below too but if you stay in here for about a minute minute and, minute and a half you'll get a thing called like scent something but you'll have something with a scent and then you'll get that for one minute. I'll show you where to go. I'm not going to wait the whole time because that just take too long. But as you can see, when I run over here, you would have the scent. Just follow my spot or my footsteps. If you have the scent, you just want to run straight over here. And just come to that ledge. It's pretty much to your left when you come over here. So once you get to the ledge right here, there, you, after you take out your ghost, there's going to be a bunch of invisible paths and you're going to want to jump on them. Make sure not to fall or you will lose the perk. But when you just fly over or jump over any way you want, just come over, navigate your way to the pillar that is going to be on your left, not your right, left. But now, as you can see, it's pretty much straight in front of me and I'm going to try to make this one, but I do not make it. But right over there is where you want to go. It will have this chest, and the chest can give you exotics. I have seen people get exotics. Personally, myself, I have not. But there are also going to be some unkillable thralls over there. But as long as you have the scent, they will not attack you until your scent is gone. And you only can open that chest when you have the scent. So, and this has been my secret slash cool spots on the Dreadnought. This is Little E Gaming. Signing in.